Nocturnal creatures coming out to feast. Find themselves becoming prey to this long-necked beast. Long neck. Down the hatch they go, definitely deceased. Craven miscreant, show your mug if you dare. But when it turns to face you, you'd rather be elsewhere. Its perturbing expression, a sight too much to bear. Yay, Kezu! The visually impaired hunter versus the blind monster. Surely that means I have an advantage in this fight, right? Right? That's not how it works, is it? Oh well. Would be nice though. <laughs> but it's gonna have computer vision. There you are! You came right to me! How nice! Hello! Nice to meet you. There you are. I also have vision problems. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, there's no music here, is there? Oh wait, no, there's music. Well, it's generic, I guess. We already got on top of it. That means something else is here too, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's anything here, so I'm just gonna run you into something. Yeah, dang it. Um, what the hell? Did it go in the air or something? What the fuck? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble actually hitting this thing. Wow. Wait. I'm not hurting my thing anymore, am I? Nope. Shit. Where'd it go? There you are. Come here. Please don't be like Baroth constantly moving around every five seconds. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, I guess I never engaged it. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, that? I don't think I did. Ah, I see, so it was agnostic that was sitting that off. Shit! I have a feeling that's gonna punish me a lot. Okay, come on. Yeah! Ow! <laughs> I mean, he's not doing too much damage, but still. Probably not a good idea to keep getting hit by that. Yeah! Is that all you're gonna do? Don't be another Tektronodon, please. It moved somewhere else. Well, that's obvious. Oh man. Basically, it does seem like it's gonna be another Baroth. A Baroth plus a Tektronodon situation at this point. Yeah, yeah. Tell someone who cares. I'm just here to kill you and be done with it. So this is the ancestor of Kid Giginox, huh? I mean, not that impressive to be honest. Well story, bro. I suppose this one at least has an excuse on like Tetronodon because it's blind, but still.
<laughs> Let me just go right through that. I don't even know if I did. Ow! You hurt me. <laughs> I'll be honest. I had a very eventful fight. <laughs> Yeah, I really do have the advantage here. Get to follow it. Again, it ran away. So yeah, it's basically going to be another Barrow situation. Again, I probably should have done this one before Barrow. Oh well. I feel bad comparing everything to Barrow at this point, but so far it's been the hardest fight I've had. Here, just because I feel bad for y'all, he has a healing potion. There. <laughs> That's the only piece of sympathy you're getting from me. Now I'm gonna go and try to get another spirit combo off on you. But your roar actually prevented me from doing it, which is interesting. I mean, at least you did something. Not bring this down. Ugh. That was right here. Come on, you could have felt me. Be a bunch of nothing too. That's what it could be. Oh, well, story, bro. You realize the point of your big attack is to come at me with it, right? You know that, right? I mean, on the one hand, I do feel kind of bad, because I know it's supposed to be blind, so maybe that's actually is being taken into consideration by the game, but I figured it wouldn't be. I figured it had, like, some kind of, like, sonar or echolocation or heat sensory or something. Or it will just be using computer vision, where it doesn't matter that it can't see me, because the computer can still see me. But I don't know, maybe it really can't see me. Maybe they actually programmed that into the game. Maybe it really is a blind monster. Maybe it isn't just a gimmick after all. Hello! Again. I mean, we're in a cave now, so you can actually be a threat. I guess you have a kind of creepy roar. That's going for you. Again, why is this considered a rank 2 monster? Like, why is this in the, in the like... Low rank, rank ones. Is it because it has electricity? Because I don't think that's helping it very much. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, bro. Ow. Oh, hey. I'm paralyzed. There we go. You did something. Yay! And now whatever you did is gone. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Maybe he is actually more dangerous than a cave. Holy hell. Carpet bombing. I'm gonna throw my first aids. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Slicing through a punching bag. Another old school punching bag. Tired already?
Yeah, figured you'd be here. Off. Get right next to him and then die! 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 die. Not gonna go first here, Kyle, because he's gonna roll her first. But I will just beat the living! Actually, you know what? Sure, go for this here, Kyle. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, huh? You gonna actually fight back? Ow. Oh damn. <laughs> oh shit. He's actually mad. I'm not feigning to you. I refuse. Get off the ceiling! You don't know where it's been. Get off of there. You know what kind of weird shit's been up there. You're like a toddler. Climbing around the ceiling when you shouldn't be. Yay! Uh. And stay down. Here it comes. It's another one. Yeah, well, that's what you get for climbing around the ceilings when you shouldn't be. Done. Right, another kind of uneventful fight. I mean, I don't know. I suppose at least with this one, I can make the excuse that it was an actual blind monster. So maybe that's why. Tetronodon definitely doesn't get that excuse though. Anyway, yeah. So when are we gonna see Giginox again? I wonder. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, if this is one of your favorite monsters, that's fine. It's like with Tetronodon. It's just yeah. Not a very tough fight, like, at all. Definitely, definitely should have been an earlier fight. <laughs> anyway, right. So that's the last of the three star, yeah, three star village quest done. Which, well, last of the three star before the first rampage, which I'm going to do a recording of too, as well, since it's going to be my first rampage. You know, so we're going to see how well that goes. Hopefully it's a little bit more exciting than these last two fights. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize these would be so easy, to be honest. I kind of figured they'd be a bit more difficult. Then you said I heard like Kezia is supposed to be like with a proto Giginox, but eh. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing day to the extreme maximum and beyond. See ya!